Good evening to all and welcome to the session, the Hindu Editorial Analysis for Proficiency in English. I would like to start the session with a nice quote. What is today's quote? There is only one corner of the universe you can be certain of improving, and that is your own self. I would like to repeat. There is only one corner of the universe you can be sure or you can be certain of improving. And if you ask a question, what is that? That is your own self. You can always improve yourself. And this is a very useful quote, especially while preparing for competitive exams. Today's editorial is all about Neeraj Chopra. It starts with golden arm. Not a very complicated editorial, easy to comprehend, though a lot of words are there to learn. And from the editorial, after the analysis, or because of the analysis, you will be able to consolidate your grammar knowledge. You will be able to improve your comprehension skill. You will be able to improve your word power, effective English, and also develop contextual awareness. Besides that, today you're going to work on practice questions based on exam topics. You're going to work on spot the errors. I'm sorry. You're going to work on parajumble. You're going to work on fillers. And you're going to work on idioms. Let us go to editorial vocabulary and see what is there to learn from today's editorial. The very first word, a positive word, euphoria. Part of speech noun. A feeling or state of intense excitement and happiness. It is a positive word a state or a feeling of intense, a lot of excitement and happiness. Triumph, part of speech noun, a great victory or achievement. Savor, it has different meanings. Here you see the literal meaning of the word savor, a characteristic taste, flavor or smell, especially a pleasant one. It is something like a touch, giving a touch. A pleasant touch. Maiden, I'm sure you guys know we have got many a time. Part of speech adjective. Typical examples, maiden speech, maiden century. Being or involving the first attempt or act of its kind. You try to do something for the first time, then we use the word maiden. Podium, this goes with public speaking. It also goes with uh, sports. Today's editorial is all about the context is about the sphere of sports. Podium, part of speech noun, a small platform on which a person may stand to be seen by an audience as when making a speech or conducting an orchestra or while receiving a prize or an award. Podium. Podium usually goes with uh, public speaking. It also goes with the uh, sports arena. Accomplish, a positive word, part of speech verb. Achieve or complete successfully, but generally accomplish something. Complete something or achieve something, that's a better word. Obliterate, we have got for the first time an important word, it goes with effective English. Part of speech, verb, it's a regular verb. Destroy, utterly, utterly again means completely. Wipe out, wipe out something or destroy completely, utterly, we use the word obliterate. An important word. Precious, not precious. A lot of people mispronounce this word. Time is precious. Precious, part of speech adjective, of great value, not to be wasted or treated carelessly. Crave takes a preposition for. Crave for. Feel a powerful desire for something. You have a strong desire for something. Then we use the word crave, the noun form craving, craving for something. Affable, it goes with persons, an important word we have got for the first time, part of speech adjective. Friendly, good natured, or easy to talk to. Friendly, good natured, easy to talk to, easily accessible, easy to talk to. Enviable goes with position or achievement or accomplishment. Enviable, part of speech adjective. Arousing or likely to arouse envy. Envious, another form of this word, means what? Jealous. And there's one idiomatic expression for that. A person is full of jealous. 
green eyed monster green eyed monster means full of jealous doping i'm sure you guys know this it goes with drugs administered drugs to a race horse greyhound or athlete in this context athlete in order to inhibit or enhance sporting performance sobering the word sober you have to know first the word drunk or intoxicated when people drink they get intoxicated and they go to a different level altogether then we say a state of mind is going to be different he is drunk drunk has many meanings in this context it means he is intoxicated opposite sober sober means calm quiet composed balanced poised but here a different meaning altogether creating a more serious sensible or solemn mood based on the context you have to decide which meaning we have more words legacy we have got a few times part of speech noun something transmitted by or received from an ancestor or predecessor or from the past usually it goes with property and you receive property from someone that is also legacy not only with the property sometimes it goes with it could be the name the fame the traditions the culture any of these things something transmitted by or received from an ancestor or predecessor or from the past epoch part of speech noun it can be an adjective in the editorial used as an adjective a particular period of time in history or a person's life it goes with the time time factor a particular period of time in history or a person's life usually it goes with uh, history enhance part of speech verb it's a regular verb intensify increase or further improve the quality value or extent of enhance your skills means what improve your skills exaggeration we have got many a time part of speech noun exaggerate verb a statement that represents something as better or worse than it really is short one word exaggerate magnify either good or bad exult part of speech verb a regular verb feel or show triumphant elation or jubilation this is a positive word jubilation positive word elation positive word it is completely a positive word pint part of speech noun it can be an adjective especially for a person very small it takes a noun sized but pint sized you can use as an adjective pint sized person strain has many meanings the literal meaning force a part of one's body or oneself to make unusually great effort strain yourself strain your body strain your ankle typical examples headwind i think we have got for the first time part of speech noun a wind blowing directly against you as you move forward wind coming from the opposite direction we use the word headwind formidable and important word though we have got a few times part of speech adjective inspiring fear or respect through being impressively large powerful intense or capable typical combinations formidable enemy formidable opponent formidable competitor someone you feel like respecting or someone scares you formidable because of the strength power intensity any of these salvo we have got for the first time part of speech noun a sudden vigorous or aggressive act or series of acts sudden vigorous act salvo whooping it goes with everyday english as well as written english obviously it is there in the editorial very large it goes with quantity so these are the words from today's editorial more than 20 but many of them are quite uh, familiar now let us go to the editorial and see how it starts golden arm it's all about neeraj chopra and you all know last olympics he got the gold medal and he is known for his javelin throw 
so it is based on the arm and based on that golden arm he has got the gold medal otherwise also commendable job commendable highly qualified highly skilled and what is the main idea of this editorial neeraj chopra is an unlikely hero likely hero opposite unlikely hero means usually you don't expect for india sports fans for india sports fans oh really bangladesh that's really good thank you very much i'll go through that after the session thank you very much at the outset so it's all about neeraj chopra his accomplishments last time in olympics this time world athletics championships and he is an unlikely hero for india sports fans usually in our country you all know cricketers are quite popular after cricketers tennis players are very popular but uh, after cricket i can say shuttle badminton tennis popular but if you take other sports like soccer football hockey or so many sports are there and athletics track and field to some extent i don't say they are not popular not to the extent of cricket not to the extent of shuttle badminton not to the extent of tennis but obviously this is track and field it goes with uh, athletics and javelin throw not that popular it came into the limelight because last year last olympics the olympics neera chopra won the gold medal you guys know i have done one editorial so it's all about that Neera Chopra's silver in men's javelin at the World Athletics Championships in Eugene, United States, marks one of India's greatest sporting successes. It starts on a positive note. The entire editorial positive, and it's all about Neera Chopra. And this is based on the first two sentences is based on a recent World Athletics Championships. In that, he got a silver medal, not a gold medal. He got a silver medal. and that itself is an uphill task and a great accomplishment one of the greatest in fact here i will do the analysis from a language point of view proficiency point of view and also effective english point of view and vocabulary point of view almost all the words are easy to comprehend neeraj chopra silver here silver in the sense silver medal in men's javelin at the world athletics championships in eugene united states marks one of india's greatest sporting successes one of india's greatest sporting successes beyond any doubt it goes without saying even as a celebratory euphoria over his stunning olympic triumph from last year he is yet to fully die down chopra produced another brilliant show to savor with his maiden podium finish at the worlds everyone was very happy last time when he got a uh, gold medal and even as a celebratory euphoria entire country celebrated and euphoria an important word here you have a lot of words to learn then it becomes easy for you to comprehend what is the meaning of the word euphoria a feeling or state of intense excitement and happiness even as a celebratory euphoria over his stunning olympic triumph triumph again an important word a great victory or achievement from last year he is yet to fully die down this is an important expression what does it mean here nothing wrong with that nothing wrong one of india's greatest it is a different pattern all of you please remember that's a good doubt don't you usually what happens we have standard patterns and we have other patterns as well usually when you learn english grammar you learn about 100 to 120 patterns if you learn entire english grammar but english language has about 350 sentence patterns and here and there you come across those patterns and there's every possibility for you to get confused but always keep it open that's why i tell students english has a rules english has exceptions so generally you are conditioned one of the best one of the greatest it doesn't mean that that is only sentence pattern we have other patterns here one of india's greatest sporting successes nothing wrong with that grammatically perfect contextually also flawless coming to the word triumph great victory from last year so this celebration this excitement it hasn't died down there's an important expression over here yet to fully die down people are still with that 
they are still celebrating it hasn't died down chopra produced another brilliant show to savor with his maiden podium finish at the worlds savor usually it goes with uh, characteristic taste flavor or smell especially a pleasant one but here it is like adding with his maiden maiden means what for the first time maiden speech maiden century maiden hat trick someone has written and podium podium usually goes with public speaking it also goes with sports the field of sports or the arena the sphere of sports when the athlete or the player receives a gold medal obviously there is a podium so with his maiden podium finish at the worlds he has produced another accomplishment he has achieved it is admittedly not the precious yellow metal he got the silver mind you it is not gold silver still it is admittedly not the precious yellow metal means not the gold metal precious of great value that everyone craves for crave a feeling of a strong desire feel a powerful desire for something almost all the athletes all the players they would like to have the gold medal that is ultimate dream it is admittedly admittedly not the precious yellow metal not the gold medal gold medal that everyone craves for but the medal is worth its weight in gold for it is a first for an indian male and the second ever after anju bobby george bronze in women's long jump paris 2003 what does it mean though he hasn't got the gold medal the precious yellow metal that's what everyone wants craves for the medal he has got the silver medal is worth its weight in gold because it is like getting a gold because it is the first of the first for an indian male first for an indian male and the second ever if you take all indians men women second ever after anju bobby george bronze in women's long jump and she got in paris 2003 2003 2022 to see the gap after so many years then he talks about his medals the tally his accomplishments the affable an important word what does it mean friendly good natured or easy to talk to the affable 24 year old now has a rich and enviable collection of medals enviable means what arousing or likely to arouse envy means jealous not negatively positively enviable position enviable status enviable collection it has a positive connotation and do remember not a negative connotation the latest silver adding to the golds in the world junior championships the sentence talks about all the medals he has got so far the latest one the latest silver adding to the golds in the world junior championships 2016 asian championships 2017 commonwealth games 2018 asian games 2018 and the olympics 2021 all these are golds mind you the recent one is a silver and how long did it take for him to achieve these many gold medals and the silver at the world athletics championships in a small window of half a dozen years that's a very short period in fact in a small window of half a dozen years he has accomplished means he has achieved what many dream of over an entire career whatever is he has accomplished in a short period a lot of athletes or players dream of achieving over an entire career but he could do it in half a dozen years but great people never stop with the accomplishments they always want to raise the standards and go to the next level next level this sentence talks about that but like most great champions chopra is not satisfied and already appears to have reassessed his targets of changing what are his targets based on the recent performance of changing the color of medal that means from silver to gold to gold at the next worlds and winning a diamond league crown so there are two things you would like to achieve in the near future one is changing the present silver to gold and the other one winning the diamond league crown it is the same spirit sportsmanship spirit or spirit displayed by swedish pole walter 
Armand Duplantis, holder of every big title and world record, who found the energy and motivation to obliterate his own best. There is one word here, important word, obliterate means what? Destroy completely or wipe out his own best. His own best mark, 6.16 meters outdoors by scaling to 6.21 in a glorious last act as the championships drew to a close. It, this sentence talks about another athlete, great athlete, and belongs to pole vault. Pole vault also one of the uh, sports activities that goes with uh, athletics. And uh, it talks about the great, the champions, they never stop with a particular achievement or accomplishment. They always want more and raise the standards. While it is true that Chopra's legacy, Chopra's legacy, here legacy means something transmitted by or received from an ancestor or predecessor or from the past. Here predecessor, you can say, while it is true that Chopra's legacy was already gold coated, he has got so many gold medals, courtesy the epoch defining Olympic victory. The ultimate, he got Olympic gold. And there's one word over here, epoch, means what? A particular period of time in history or a person's life. The performance in Eugene enhanced it further. Enhanced means improve. Take to a different level, intensify, increase, improve. It would not be an exaggeration. Exaggerate means magnify. It would not be an exaggeration to suggest that Indians woke up on Sunday confident of Chopra securing a medal with only the color a matter of debate. This happened on Sunday and many Indians woke up on Sunday confidently. They were confident of Chopra securing or winning a medal. But which medal? That was the question. With only the color a matter of debate whether he would win the silver or the gold. But they were damn sure of Chopra winning the medal. Such expectation from an Indian track and field athlete was practically unheard of, never heard of. Such expectation, being so confident from an Indian track and field athlete was practically unheard of. Among the truest tests in sport is to handle this pressure and relax into the movement. There are so many tests you come across. Among the truest tests in sport is to handle this pressure and relax into the moment. When people expect a lot from you, obviously you are under tremendous pressure. And how you handle that matters a lot and relax into the moment. That Chopra managed this under less than ideal conditions. He could do it, he could manage under less than ideal conditions. Ideal means suitable, perfect. Less than ideal conditions means not ideal conditions. Why? One negotiating a thigh strain strain force usually a part of one's body or oneself to make an unusually great effort negotiating or dealing with a thigh strain and a head wind head wind means wind coming in the opposite blowing in the opposite direction against a formidable opponent this is an important word formidable as i said it goes with competitor opponent enemy formidable Opponent in defending champion Anderson Peters, whose opening salvo was a whopping 90.21 meters through. He got the gold and uh, Neeraj got the silver. And it talks about the opponent and the limitations he had to face. In spite of the problems, in spite of the limitations, he could get the silver. That itself is a great accomplishment. That's what the sentence talks about. And here there are two words. One is salvo. A sudden, vigorous, or aggressive act or series of acts, warping 9.21 meters through. Warping means very large. And still came up with an effort, 88.13 meters. That was better than his Olympics mark, 87.58 meters, is down to his genius. He improved, but it was not the best. The best, 90.21, the one Anderson Peters who got the gold medal. At the fag end of the editorial, how does it end? As Chopra redefines success for a nation that has often exulted. Exult means what? Feel or show triumphant elation or jubilation and being satisfied with 
pimp sized accomplishments this is rather negative as chopra redefined success for a nation that has often exalted means felt very excited or celebrated and been satisfied with pimp sized accomplishments pimp sized accomplishments means what not great accomplishments especially for a person very small but in this context it means small accomplishments not great accomplishments a doping cloud hanging over indian athletics has produced a sobering backdrop something positive something negative what is negative over here a doping cloud administer drugs to a racehorse greyhound or athlete in this context athletes taking drugs a doping cloud hanging over indian athletics has produced a sobering backdrop the backdrop not positive in this context sobering means creating a more serious sensible or solemn mood rather serious mood high profile athletes including national record holders have been caught have been caught present perfect passive voice if india aspires how does the editorial end if india aspires to catch up with world standards and march in two go along it is up to administrators and fellow athletes to get their acts together and lend the generational champion a helping hand it talks about the administrators the fellow athletes the fellow athletes not getting indulged in drugs or uh, nefarious activities nefarious uh, something illegal one of the meanings administrators and fellow athletes to get their acts together and lend the generational champion a helping hand then definitely india can catch up with the world standards and march in two that's all about the editorial how long has it taken about 27 minutes let us go to comprehension enhance your comprehension skill based on this editorial likely questions what is this editorial about what would not be an exaggeration in the context of the editorial based on the key words what would not be an exaggeration in the context of the editorial one word is enough for you to navigate locate and write the answer what is among the truest tests in sport again these two words you can locate and get the answer what has produced a sobering backdrop something has produced a sobering backdrop what is that you will be able to answer who should lend the generational champion that is nirvet chopra a helping hand you should be able to write at the fag end of the editorial you have the answer for this question now let us go to practice questions based on exam topics today you are going to work on error location para jumble fillers and idioms the first five questions go with error location read the first one and try to spot the error they haven't fully considered the impact that relaxing these guidelines is likely to have with the economy they have not fully considered the impact that relaxing these guidelines is likely to have with the economy a bit difficult under pressure but if you read meticulously you will be able to spot the error here they have not fully considered nothing wrong present perfect they haven't fully considered adverb fully considered what the impact the clue for you here the impact that relaxing these guidelines is likely to have put all these words no 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 r where do you want to use r no 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 that is not the error nothing wrong then i will change they have not fully considered the impact that relaxing these guidelines is likely to have impact is likely to have nothing wrong is goes with the impact not with guidelines ha huh. sure so this goes with is goes with impact not with guidelines error of proximity if you think that way nothing wrong with that they have not fully considered the impact that relaxing these guidelines the impact is likely to have impact is likely to have with the economy or on the economy what is a preposition that goes with impact 
impact on something impact on something what is the appropriate preposition based on that there is an error in the fourth part it is not the word with it has to be on they have not fully considered the impact that relaxing these guidelines is likely to have on the economy there is an error obviously and uh, what is the clue for you the word impact as i said this is not an easy one under pressure but if you this is the first question if you read meticulously you will be able to spot the error question number 2 we are yet starting offering this facility to our customers as we are awaiting approval from the board this is an easy one in fact you can save your time if you are very confident you don't have to read the complete sentence first part safe side the second part you can decide where the error is we are yet starting offering this facility to our customers no one has responded it should not take this long yes we are yet starting is not correct we are yet to start you don't have to go beyond the first part if you are really good at english but because you have negative marking you have to consider the second part then after that you don't have to read the sentence we are yet to start offering this facility perfect yet to start we, we haven't started yet yet to start and this is based on the standard expression yet to come yet to start yet to go any verb you can use that means what we haven't started yet question number 3 there are many insurance disputes nowadays because of most people do not fully understand the terms and conditions of their policies this is a good question a lot of students have a doubt once you answer i will tell what the doubt is but not a tough question ah very good ramesh await you should not use for wait for someone await something no one has responded question number 3 there are many insurance disputes nowadays nothing wrong with that because ha huh, very good who is this satish after because here what do you find most people do not fully understand this is a clause what is it clause after a clause if you use a clause after because then you should not use a preposition of i will write two sentences then you understand he was late because he missed the bus what is a clause here he was late because he missed the bus he missed the bus clause but if you have to use a preposition of then you have to use a noun he missed the bus he missed the bus because of rain look at the second example he missed the bus same because of rain no rain is what it's a noun if you use a noun then you have to use a preposition of because of rain because of delay because of a problem but if you use a clause then you cannot use a preposition of i hope you guys got the difference between because and because of a lot of students don't understand where to use because where to use because of very simple if you use a clause use only because if you want to use because of use a noun not a clause i hope you guys got the difference this is a lengthy sentence try to read carefully still struggling to evolve this nascent industry an important word nascent new developing still struggling to evolve this nascent industry has been in use for a variety of reasons for one 
this intangible sector intangible tangible concrete intangible abstract for one this intangible sector has sudden been witnessing a few high profile disproportionate investments where is the error under pressure not easy but if you read carefully you will be able to spot the error still struggling to evolve this nascent industry nothing wrong has been in use present perfect for a variety of reasons no problem for one variety of reasons for one this intangible sector has sudden been witnessing or suddenly been witnessing very good here we have to use not an adjective we have to use an adverb what is the adverbial form suddenly suddenly is correct has suddenly been witnessing a few high profile disproportionate investments simple it's all about the word forms they have used the adjective form but they are supposed to use the adverbial form sudden is not correct suddenly has been witnessing which tense is that present perfect continuous tense not for once for one it talks about the reasons then we cannot say who is this anjali here we cannot say for once for one what is the reason it has been in use for a variety of reasons for one that means one of the reasons here one stands for one of the reasons a reason so we cannot use once oh the last one is also a lengthy sentence the last budget change the rules for taxing debt funds thereby providing a disincentive to the investors perhaps full stop those who want to invest in the share market are by default encouraging to put their money in riskier equities not that difficult to one reading you should be able to spot the error the last budget change the rules for taxing debt funds thereby providing a disincentive to the investors those who want to invest in the share market are by default encouraging or encouraged what will you say encouraged to do something encouraged to put their money in riskier equities even this one is based on word forms here we cannot say encouraging are by default encouraged to put their money in riskier equities all these are easy but for how you look at the sentence how you read the sentence it all depends on that now let us go to double fillers not that difficult not that challenging perhaps one or two may trouble you should be able to answer three of them effortlessly traffic was on the express way on saturday as local residents the road first when you go for fillers my suggestion read the sentence and try to understand the context then look for the options you will be able to get the correct pair traffic traffic was disturbed you can consider traffic was disrupted you can consider it means interrupted blocked you can consider jammed you can but to some extent disrupting grammatically not correct now you have to decide based on the second word traffic was dis disturbed on the express way on saturday as local residents blocked the road two options first one and second one you have the same word blocked blocked stop the road you cannot stop a road that is practically impossible block it goes into the past context is past then you cannot use block and saturday it has to be past blockage word form is not correct that means you have to decide between the first one and the second one answer my question between the two words disturbed and disrupted which goes with effective english that is the answer disturbed is not a word that goes with effective english 
disrupt means what interrupt and also it talks about traffic traffic was interrupted disrupted based on that answer is the second option ah yes you can recollect that madhav you are there snarl up that also means traffic jam now let us go to question number 2 the incident place when the victim asked a of youths for money disrupted yes that is the second option effective english good you have responded the incident place had place not correct incident take place this talks about the past context then you cannot use the verb in the present form took you can consider took you can consider was taken the incident was taken place you don't have to use passive voice it has to be an active voice and you have two options same verb first one and you have to decide based on the second one here some st sometimes student ask me sir the word youths is it right youth is right youths also correct do remember and will you say herd goes with what herd of animals it goes with animals so you cannot use a fourth option it has to be the third option the incident took place take place a standard expression when the victim asked a group of youths for money after carefully the situation the farmer sympathized the mule mule is a cross breed between a horse and a donkey after carefully scrutinizing scrutinize means to observe carefully assessing you can consider observing you can consider fighting doesn't go with the context ignoring then you cannot say sympathized it doesn't go with the context here it has to be the first one second one or the third one after sure sure i have seen that ramesh i do i will do that i have read it session on connectors and starters after carefully now let us go to sympathize takes a particular preposition which one is that with sympathized on the mule no sympathized with the mule in this context after carefully assessing not scrutinizing be better word based on situation generally we say we don't say scrutinize the situation that is not the right combination we say assess the situation assess the situation so after carefully assessing the situation the farmer sympathized with the mule all of the options are wrong answer is the second option survival of mankind is in danger due to of atomic atomic weapons survival of mankind is in danger due to of atomic weapons survival of mankind not always depends on the sentence pattern vijay kumar depends on the sentence pattern empathy for someone you can use for also there is no hard and fast rule that we have to use with with all these words coming to this question question number 4 mankind will you say himself will you say themselves perhaps hold that one only itself self you have to tell yourself survival of mankind itself not themselves mankind we cannot use a plural form survival of mankind itself is in danger due to proliferation of atomic weapons answer is a fourth option not the second option mankind is considered singular not plural so we cannot use themselves we have to use itself and proliferation an important word spread rapidly spread rapidly proliferation proliferate verb mushroom growth related expression you have to recollect mushroom growth of something proliferation of something spread rapidly question number 
some of the best bhakti has been written by poets imagining themselves to be mothers to their favorite one word is enough to get uh, overwhelming yes geopardize geopardy danger endangered in danger some of the best bhakti you cannot use poetry that is wrong a common error poetry you can consider some of the best bhakti poems but here it talks more about poetry than poems and also you have to look at the second word it's all about something positive you cannot use the word demon that's a negative word stories no epics no favorite god their favorite gods would have been better but here it talks about poetry some of the best bhakti poetry has been written by poets imagining because here poets poetry related imagining themselves to be mothers to their favorite deity god or goddess answer is a second option not the fourth option not any other option for that matter now this is uh, for a change i have brought an image this para jumble is all about somalia somalia is a northeastern country you can see the pic here it is also known as horn of africa and the capital is mogadishu they don't write songs see here what is the context some of the best bhakti bhakti songs and written by poets that doesn't they don't go with each other because of the word poets poets they, what do they write poetry poems as well but poetry singular and that too uh, to their favorite deities definitely we cannot use the word songs in this context i hope it's clear so try to get the correct order this is from an international magazine one b okay let others also respond for three uh, b means i'll read out devil ghost it means a ghost something opposite god goddess evil spirit you can say or devil so here b a lot of students say b let us start with b for three decades somalia has lurched lurch means to languish languish lurch to be in a situation for a long time and that situation is not something positive it is rather negative and here based on that disorder anarchy anarchy no government total chaotic situation for three decades somalia north east african country has lurched between disorder and anarchy seems right because here there cannot be the first one for many somalis cannot be the first one the rest definite article cannot be the first one a pronoun cannot be the first one the government now what is the second one the government controls only bits of the country why is it why has it been lurching between disorder and anarchy the government controls only bits of the country f is the second one and after that the next one is rather easy because they form a pair the government controls only bits of the country the rest is in the hands of jihadists adapted blowing themselves up in crowded places fd one pair bfd fd one pair for three decades somalia has lurched between disorder and anarchy reason the government controls only bits of the country the rest is in the hands of so you can easily make out one group i can say after that what for many somalis because of the remaining three parts 
you have a pronoun possessive pronoun and a personal pronoun but first we need a noun a sentence with a noun based on that c is the fourth one for many somalis life is poor brutish and short they live in the fifth poorest and eighth most violent country their life expectancy is the world's sixth lowest then if you ask sir how can we decide e and a it talks about e talks about they live in the fifth poorest and eighth most violent country both are very dangerous based on these two your life expectancy expectancy depends on these two depend on whatever it is you have to consider these two factors one is the fifth poorest eighth most violent based on that the last one is a their life expectancy is the world's sixth lowest those who have got it right i appreciate very good now let us go to idioms effective english very important from bank exams point of view ssc point of view act of god the first one what does it mean if you don't know leave that one go to the next one whatever you know answer first then you go to the tough ones you can bring down the choice count your blessings easy to answer something positive be grateful for what you have one here i will write one crux of the matter this is also easy most important point of an issue crux of the matter then act of god a natural disaster tomorrow morning it is going to be most probably morning 8 i have, i cannot assure chances are bright 8 8 o'clock in the morning act of god means natural disaster a uh, fifth one adam's ale means water you should not get confused between adam's apple adam's ale adam's apple goes with men if you look at the throat the neck region below the chin of men you see a hard thing bulging out that is known as adam's apple but here it is not apple it is ale means what water god forbid means something that does not happen hope that something does not happen answer is the second one so what is uh, thank you very much 5 4 2 1 i hope you guys got it right all the five that's highly appreciable now let us go to the last slide enrich your word power from today's vocabulary consolidation you for your part of speech noun what does it mean a state of intense excitement i want you guys to respond editorial vocabulary very important effective english and you hear you are consolidating already have listened to the meaning twice answer is d a state of intense excitement or happiness this is also a noun what does it mean triumph great victory answer is g whooping part of speech adjective what does it mean very large accomplish a positive word you guys are going to accomplish sooner or later you can use after some time part of speech verb it's a regular verb means what accomplish something achieve or complete achieve j obliterate this is also a regular verb a new word you got to remember for that you have to spend some time 
destroy completely or wipe out? A is the answer. Ah, that is one combination. Yes, Madhav. Precious, not precious. Precious. Time is precious. Part of speech. Adjective. What does it mean? Of great value. Crave. Part of speech. Verb. Crave for something. Feel a powerful desire for something. Answer is F. It takes a preposition for. Affable, part of speech adjective. It goes with persons. In this context, context Neeraj Chopra. Friendly, good-natured, and easy to talk to. I is the answer. Sobering, based on the context. Creating a more serious mood. Part of speech, adjective. Answer, H. Formidable, an important word. Part of speech, adjective. Formidable opponent. Formidable enemy. What are you left with? Inspiring fear or respect. Either fear or respect. Answer is C. Hope you guys have got all the 10 correct. If you say yes, sir, then you should be very happy. You're good at editorial vocabulary. That's all for today. Thank you very much for being with me till 7.57. I will see you guys tomorrow, but I'm not quite sure it is going to be only uh, this week. Uh, actual time is 8 a.m., but today, tomorrow, because of different, a lot of reasons, I cannot assure that I cannot confirm the time slot. Uh, let me read. I am from Bangladesh. You are my ideal. I can understand everything what you say. I'm going to start some courses. Enroll in that course. One of the courses, then you'll be able to. Free NC course, you can enroll in that. Thank you very much. Good night to all of you.